Oh, hello, and welcome to another Steaming Boots. And today's adventure. Oh, hold on a minute, I forgot something here. Ah, here we go. That's better. This isn't. This one's for Jerry. Hope you like my hat. <laughs> and today's adventure was a plan B, and plan A had been to head into Glencoe and maybe do a, a scramble or a, an easy rock climb somewhere where we're thinking of something like uh, North Buttress or Quiver Rib or something like that. And the forecast the night before was looking quite good. Uh, some sunny spells, a wee bit, maybe the odd chance of rain. But uh, when we both woke on the, uh, the morning of the day, of the, the day of the vlog, it was soon apparent that wasn't going to happen. We both, we have a meeting point where we, we meet up before we go up into the co and both of our journeys up had been in torrential, persistent rain. And yeah, it was a bit dreary, a bit damp. Ah, really not nice. So we got together, put our heads together, I thought, what, what can we do that minimises our time in the hill and <laughs> in the rain? So we decided on a Corbett uh, near Tindrum. And I've done this one before. In fact, I'll tell you when I did it. I've got my, uh, my wee diary blog here. Let me just have a look here. I did it in... Where are we? Uh, here we go. 2011 in June and my lad was just wee then and apparently he woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I settled him back down and headed off into the hills and the, the description and notes I've got here of a long day in the hill with sore knees at the end of it and this this group of five Corbett's is well known as uh, the sort of only Corbett's, well not the only Corbett's but certainly the best known Corbett's that you can pick off quite a few of them in a, in a single day but it does involve a lot of ascent and that was um, that was back in 2011 and we drive past this hill so many times we just thought we'll, we'll, we'll go up it. I don't think Jerry had been up it before so um, yeah we decided to go up this, this little corbett in the rain and it was good fun and the other thing about this because we hadn't researched it, and I certainly never noticed this feature on the hill when I did it before we discovered a, a really, really interesting feature, which was probably the highlight of the day on the way up the hill. So without further ado, we're going to cut to a bit in the film where me and Jerry have just met and jumped into the Steaming Boots Mobile. Hope you enjoy the vlog. Right, let's go to it. It's looking a bit wet, Jerry, isn't it? Well, three. here we are in the Steaming Boots Mobile and in the back are rock shoes and ropes <laughs> and everything. <laughs> and what we'd be better with uh, flippers and a mask and uh, I think so. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go and do a wee Corbett, I haven't done. Um, got a torrential rain, the forecast got it wrong I think for once. We were planning on going up uh, up the Buchel today, um, the north, north Buttress. Or something in the coal maybe. Yeah, but uh, uh, not, not today. So a steep, it's a steep pull up this one I think so aye, we'll, uh, well, so minimise the length of time we spend in the rain uh, and we're, we're really expecting some spectacular views when we get up here because uh, <laughs> everything's looking great that's a view of scotch mist yes isn't it Jim? right let's, uh, let's get up there and get our boots on and uh, yeah. see what we can get salvage get steaming on uh, exactly. it's Scotland after all isn't it It didn't take too long to get to the old mining village of Tyndrum, and the rain was still teeming down, but we could see the hill just behind the green welly stop, and we headed up the A82 to try and get a wee parking spot near the hill, where we stopped the car and got out of the rain and got our gear ready for heading up our hill today, which was called Ben Ur. And Ben Ur sits at about 901 metres, and it's the 18th highest Corbett, failing to make Monroe status by a mere 13 metres. Right, we're still peeing it down. <laughs> we just got all our stuff out of the bags because we had our uh, ice axes and crampons for the, the, the possible descent up in the co. As I said, we were going to do north buttress route, but uh, as you can probably see, it's still peeing it down the rain. <laughs> so don't, you'll not be able to see it. Just round the corner, we're heading up a hill. I think it's called Ben Oda and it just sits kind of above Tyndrum and it's a Corbett so we found a wee parking space and we're going to head up there in the rain to get a wee bit of uh, a wee bit of outdoor action <laughs> although it's not rock climbing or scrambling it'll be a bit of fun I just noticed behind me that somebody's left their boot here on it 
it's a boot for us, Jerry. If we need one, it's quite a boot. Oh, it's quite good. Oh, it's, uh, you need an amputation. Amputation, yeah, it'd be quite a good, <laughs> quite a good idea. Right, oh, Jerry, what are you doing? What's this look? He's got his flat cap on. Looking good. Looking right good. Right. <laughs> right, let's go. Enough waffling. So we set off in the rain, and after crossing the busy road, we headed along for a short distance on the West Highland Way before striking uphill onto the lower slopes of Benuar. Pretty miserable, isn't it, Jerry? Yeah, best of days. Uh, we've just got this wee uh, rising here, you can see the uh, A82 in it. Tindrum down there. Tindrum Lois in the West Highland Way, we walked along about there, but uh, this rain doesn't look like it's going to go off. And I must admit today I've got a lot, a lot of envy. That's not for the weather, or for us not going to Glencoe, it's because... Mm, get over it, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Look at that hat's waterproof as well, the flat cap. Other, and it's waterproof. Other hats are available. I know, well, yeah. I'm going to get one, I'll tell you. Next purchase, one of them, I'll tell you. Uh, Dry head. how you wear it. And stylish. Can't get better than that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is where we're going up there, uh, Ben Oda, and uh, into the clouds, so. <laughs> yeah, I've not got my camera with me because I'm not expecting to take any shots. If I take any shots, I'll be with the phone, but you never know, it might clear up. <laughs> He's got his camera. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> it's quite a shapely looking peak, uh, Ben Ur, and the uh, most sides are quite steep. And when I'd come up it before to do the Tindrum 5, I'd actually headed further up the road and straight up to the Lochin at the top, but this was a slightly different route. And it's, you know, it's not a bad looking hill, and a lot of people actually mistake this for Ben Doran as they're coming round the 82 and north of Tyndrum before they actually see Ben Doran on the, on the bend in the road. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it provides some steep grassy walking and we were headed uphill in towards the mist in no time at all. We were making relatively good progress. We're inside the cloud now, aren't we, Jerry? Aye, yeah, a bit of Scotch mist. Scotch mist, a bit atmospheric. But you can see the Bielach down there. If it clears, we might head down there and onto Mila Vuda. But uh, that's uh, an unlikely possibility at the moment. And this has got, it's got, it's got a feeling of the, the central highlands, really. It's quite grassy. Although, the one place I've stopped, there is, <laughs> there's more rocks than, you, than we've seen all the way up, but it's quite a steep grass slope on this core bit above Tyndrum. It's nice underfoot. I think it'll be nice coming down. It'll be less, uh, yeah, less impact and what have you. So, I've got my slicks on today. There's not much, uh, <laughs> there's not much lug left. So I might come sliding down this hill later on. But the rain's got a wee bit lighter, and oh, there's, I don't know, five percent chance of a view at the top, Jerry. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Two percent. We'll report back. <laughs> we'll report back in a while. But yeah, it's nice. It's quite nice. It's not very windy either. That's uh, that's a plus for today. Anyway. Enough talking, let's get walking. Just as I'd finished talking about the hill having grassy slopes, we headed a bit further up and we saw a wee rocky escarpment on the skyline and decided to head for that and see if it provided any uh, any interest. And there's quite a bit of rock lying about and a lot of loose rock round about this escarpment. And as we hadn't been planning to come up this hill, we hadn't done too much research before getting out the car and checking the map and heading on up it. And uh, it was a pleasant surprise to find this rock. And yeah, we had a wee bit of fun. We got, got some hands on rock and a, a little bit of easy scrambling with some, well, lots of loose rock kicking about at this point. And we headed on. Once we get to, once we got to the top of this little, this little steepening onto the escarpment. We noticed quite a lot of mineralisation and lots of rocks, and then made a wee, uh, yeah, a wee discovery that we weren't expecting, and I certainly hadn't seen this on my first ascent of the hill. It was intriguing and probably the, the highlight of the day. So you think you're just getting a, a wee grassy consolation hill, but we found this nice rib of rock and we're coming up and it's uh, a lot of exposed quartzite, um, and, and round about there's lots of minerals, there's, there's uh, yep. things like this with yeah. calcite, um, and even with some garnet further down, and so there was some rock with pyrites in it, or fool's gold. And yeah. it's quite interesting that there's so much around here. And then we go up a wee bit more. Ah, it's like here. Of course, yes. Hold on, oh, my camera skills. Oh, this, <laughs> this explains oh. why there's so much 
uh, mineral out on the surface here because this has obviously been mined at some point and this is what you call gangi uh, I believe where the spoils from the mine are thrown either side of the, 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 the mine itself just over in Tindrum of course is the commercial gold mine so there'll be the same vein running through uh, the rock here yeah, so we'll go down and have a wee yes, look in so here. Have, have a look, eh? I wasn't expecting this, yeah. I, didn't, I hadn't read about this hill. Um, but obviously it's been mined. So we'll go and have a wee look, well, look. And if, if, you want, if, if you want to apply to the Steaming Boots Geology Open University yeah, course, yes. we'll put a link in the description yes. now. We'll give you a handy bite size. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm learning something to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go and have a look. Every day is a school day. <laughs> so complimentary. <laughs> Let's go and have a look down here. Oh, that's quite exciting, look at that. Don't fall in, Jerry. Oh, wait. Uh, and uh, there's evidence there of an old pit prop. There's a wooden pit prop down there. I don't know if we can see it, but just, oh, just yeah. there, just pointed up with a pole. A wooden post, which must have been used as a support. I think we should stop with the headlights out. And shine it in and see just how far into the hill this goes. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. You can see if you just put the camera on there and shine the torch. Can you see way in the back there? Oh, I don't know if we can see anything down the way, but you can get a bit further close up. Yeah, you can see it goes into the back of the mine there. Shine the torch as the pit crop. That's better. No, God, it goes right round, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, we read up about it. Looks dry. Well, we could go down. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one dry part of the mountain. Yeah. The problem is, above us here, all this rock is very fractured. You've got to be careful crawling about in places like this. Yeah. Um, it's nice to know. Good, doing it? Yeah. Right, we're not going to go in because we don't want the, the mountain fall on the top of us. <laughs> it's tempting though, it's albeit it's down cleaner. a hole. Look at that blind, this is it's opened up a wee bit behind us now. Yeah. After exploring a bit more, it was time to head on. But when we got home, I did a wee bit of research on this mine and, and oh, I was so disappointed. It wasn't a gold mine like across the way in the, the hills up uh, behind Time Drum, but uh, it was actually a lead mine from the, you know, the 18th and 19th century and it lies on the Tindrum Fault and uh, apparently that's what the majority of the mining in Tindrum was back in the day, it was lead mining. Uh, so that was that was interesting and that mine there goes back for 11 metres so it does go a fair bit into the hillside. Anyway up we went and uh, soon found that lock in which I uh, topped out on my previous <laughs> visit when I did the five hills and uh, it was soon getting cold so I stopped and put my jacket on not far from the summit because I was getting a bit chilly and it was starting the rain was turning to a bit of sleet at this point although you don't see it on the on the camera. So yeah, I stopped, got the bag off, got the hard shell on before heading on to the summit of Benuar. As we approached the top the weather didn't show any signs of improving. Every now and again there'd be a wee bit of brightness appearing but no blue skies and the rain seemed to just continuously fall and in fact it was getting more, more snow like. I think had we ascended any higher, had we been on the higher mountains it would have been snowy and certainly the peaks round about on the way home were all white. It was cold so we soon found a wee sheltered spot just off the summit to stop and have some lunch. Ah, so that's us on the top of this wee core bit. We've just had a bite deep. It's, uh, you'll not see it, but it's, uh, oh, I turn around, it's uh, a wee bit of a break in the cloud over there. I don't know if you make it out. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's blooming cold, isn't it? It's kind of sleeting at the moment. You'll not see it in the camera, but it's kind of haily, sleety. Hail and sleet. And, um, you still see all the quartzite, and all the minerals over there. Yeah, still all the rocks and what have you. So that was, a, that was an unexpected find, wasn't it? We weren't, uh, it's interesting. Well, I wasn't expecting it, but I think Jerry was. I, I, maybe it explains his cap today. He was maybe, Dressing up as his forefathers did as they came <laughs> out to the wild west, <laughs> mining for gold. He knew about it all along. That's why you've got the hat on, isn't it? Don't tell him when the gold is. <laughs> we used to have a wee candle on the front uh, of going down. You'll there. not see us now. We'll be getting helicopters up because we've we found how much gold. We'll be buying our own private uh, helicopter to take us to the top of uh, Corbett's. <laughs> anyway, you should tell your viewers 
Why it's called a corbett? Well, I'll leave that to you because you, you actually it's informed me a wee while ago, so here we go. Corbett's are smaller mountains and are named after Ronnie Corbett, who was very famous for being quite small. That's right, true story. Um, yeah. So he's a, he's a famous small comedian, so the mountains are called Corbett's. But better them. known for climbing all the Corbett's. Unlike Monroe. Obviously. Yeah. Monroe was he was very tall. He was three thousand feet in his stocking soles. Ah, yeah, 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 big guy. Yeah, so those uh, those photos of him don't do it any justice, do they? A lot of people don't know these things. Yeah. Well, that's why he made it up first because like it was so easy for him one step and he was on the top, <laughs> top of the mountain. Uh, yeah. yeah, see, that's uh, that's uh, you've learned something new today. Not only have you found the gold mine, we've uh, we've had some history, some geolo uh, geology, geology, yeah. Geology, yeah. Yeah, super. Yeah, some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm getting a bit cold. We'll be uh, we'll be crack a lack of honour and get down okay, to the car. Go for a swim in the loch. <laughs> you, you, you can go for a swim in the loch. I'm going to sit in a nice hot bath, I think. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> and cold it certainly was. I think it had numbed our brains a wee bit speaking that nonsense. <laughs> Only some of those statements were true, by the way. Anyway, all that was left now was for us to descend and we were soon back down and, yep, you guessed it, it rained all the way back to the car.